my name is Sasha and here is the workshop Dash and Axe. You often write in the comments that the stuffs I make need some special skills and tools. And that's why I decided to make a video where I show you some interesting technologies which you can simply work with. Today we'll make three simple wooden rings. For the first ring I decided to use Karyl and Birch and Wenger. As you can see I'm cutting off the necessary bar using a deck saw. But in this case you can work with any hand saw. For making the second ring I'll use some stabilized Karyl and Birch and hornbeach on the sides. And for making the third ring I took this fantastic piece of paddock, which had given the idea to me, thanks to such a contrast of colors. In the function of a basic tool today, a drill is. Also I use a drill stand and with its help it's much easier to make a strictly vertical hole, what is very important for making rings. Well, if you train for a while, you can manage without it. And as you can see, in a two-color workpiece of Paduk, I'm drilling a hole exactly in the junction of the colors. And there is nothing to invent, the nature made it by itself. For making the second ring, I'm gluing together the stabilized Karelian workpieces and hornbeach with using some carpenter's glue. I'm fixing this sandwich with a carpenter vise. Next day the glue is dried and we can work with the workpieces. For the beginning I'm drawing two parallel lines and choosing the next shape and the ring picture. And with the help of a polish machine I'm removing the wood to the marked lines. We can change the polish machine with the help of nozzles on the drill or angle grinder. And now we are going back to the ring of Paduk. I'm marking the outer diameter of the ring and also I'm removing all unnecessary by using the polish machine, but I'm leaving some reserve. To complete the work we need to make something like a turning lathe. I took an old drill bit, cut it off to the basis and made the diameter bigger with some scotch tape. Also we can use adhesive tape. The main thing is that the ring should be fixed tightly, but without very brute force, otherwise in processing it may crack. And using the drill again, we are going to the final processing. As a tool, I am using some sandpaper, beginning with number 90 and finishing with 400. And for the final polishing, I am using an abrasive sponge. So, the reign of Birch and Wenger, how I got these workpieces, you can understand from the previous scenes. Now the main part is to fit accurately the workpieces to each other. For this I am using a metallic piece of pipe with the closest possible diameter to the workpiece hole. And using sandpaper and some simple motions I am getting the maximum closeness between the workpieces. Then I'm matching them using some cyanide acrylate adhesive. Of course, with such a method it's hard to reach a perfect connection, but we don't need it, as we have such a procedure. In the places where we left some holes, we are filling up with some wood dust, which we got while grinding from the same wood, and then we are imbuing it with the same glue. And for the end, smoothing the angles with small 400 sandpaper and imbuing the ring with some oil or it can be any impregnate. A 
write down everything you think about this format of the video. Is it better to make the videos about making some simple stuff or better to make some big projects? Your opinion is very necessary for us and it really has influence on the output and content of the next videos. And all the best from Dash and Ax. Thank you very much for the financial support of the channel. All money goes to translation, voice acting and new projects. All references are in the description.